Welcome back guys. On this video, we're going to look at this algebraic question from grade 12 paper, which is worth five marks. So they say that if X divided by Y plus Y divided by X is equal to 17 over four, calculate two values of X and Y, which is this one. These questions are a little bit tricky. This is 1.3 from the question paper of grade 12 actually. So yeah, it's a little bit tricky. Yeah. So yeah, guys, I was spending the last five minutes, I was like trying to see this question, how can I solve it? Until I found that we can turn this uh, fraction, we can turn this fraction into be like this by using the law of reciprocal. So don't be scared by this word the reciprocal. I will explain how I do it in short. So yeah, it is a little bit tricky, but it has a solution. So we're going to say x over y, ne? x over y plus 1 over x plus divided by y. This is the bigger division. is equals to 17 over 4. Pay close attention. This 1 over x plus y is still the same as like this. Let me explain, write it down here. This is the same as 1 divided by x over y. I hope this is clear then. Yes, it's clear. This is the same as uh, 1 divided by x over y. So if we want to use the, the law of reciprocal, what do we do? We're going to change this division into multiplication. And when we change this, we're going to swap these uh, uh, fractions. The y is going to go there and x is going to go there. And then everything that you multiply by 1 is going to that number or that variable. So the, our answer is going to be y over x. So hence, this thing is still going to be the same as that 1. Ne? So now we can be able to continue. So now we're going to multiply all these things by this fraction that is here. So let me illustrate it and then I will continue the video. So here it is now. I take this fraction and multiply all this kind of stuff here. So when we multiply here, this one is going to cancel this. Ne? Then all this one can be multiplied. So let me just write out the, down the answer. So if we multiply all this kind of stuff, we're going to have something like this. So let me try to put these things in a standard form in a way that is going to be understandable. So here it is. I just taken this one to the other side and it becomes negative here. Ne? So when we are here, if you pay close attention, ne? remember our question, it is asking for X and Y. Ne? So if it is asking for X and Y, here we can be able, this is squared. Ne? Here we can be able to like uh, find the factors because this equation is the same. If you pay close attention, ne? this equation is the same as X squared plus 2x plus 1 is equals to 0. If you pay close attention, this is the same. Our x squared here is, is x plus y, ne? and then our 2 is this one, and then our x is this one, which means we can be able to find the factors of this, and then we can be able to solve for what? For x and y. Ne? So, yeah, I was looking for how can we find the factors, and then I remember we can use the quadratic formula to find our factors here, since like it will be impossible for us it, yeah it is possible but it will take a long time for us to get the factors actually so then we can be able to use the quadratic formula ne? so we're going to say so here i use the quadratic formula here this is our b this is our one so uh, some of of you guys who are at home you can ask why are you taking why are you taking so long to solve this kind of stuff i'm just trying to explain to those kinds of people who does not understand ne? so that's why i'm taking the longer routine so if you pay too attention this is going to cancel this ne? and then this one is going to be cancelled so let me simplify this thing so that you can be able to understand so here it is. I apologize for this, guys. So I just simplify this. When we multiply this, we're going to get this. It's going to be positive and plus or minus. And if you punch these things all in the calculator, you're going to get these numbers. And then if you punch this one, you're going to get two. I apologize. This could have just end here. So let's go now and apply and find our x and y for negative and the positive now because they're going to be two answers since here they say we must calculate the values calculate the two values of x and y now. so we're going to punch this one using the negative and the positive now. so if you punch this one and, and look for the negative for the positive answer you're going to get four and when you, you put negative here you're going to get one over four so these are your two answers so if you don't believe this answer's name you can try to test it out using you can yeah you can use this uh, 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 equation here let me just try to put so you can be able to see 
So here it is. If you put four here, since here there is four, if you put four and put four here, and then you're going to get what? You're going to get your answer, which is 17 over 5. I hope this is clear. And you can also try to put that 1 over 4. And then your answer is still going to be 17 over 4, which confirms that these two are right. So this is the end of this video. If you find it very useful, you can subscribe to the channel. Ciao.